What's up humans? Welcome to the Cyborg Kitchen. I'm Terrio, the vegan cyborg, aka the Bean Slayer. I'm here to show you how to whip up some delicious meals and tasty treats that don't have any animal products in them. Do you know why? Because peace begins on your plate. Hello everyone, I know it's been a minute since I've made a video and largely that is due to the fact that I am extremely lazy. Anyways, today we are going to make some soup for the apocalypse just to be ready for if you get sick with this uh, COVID-19 business or if you know somebody who's sick with it or you just want to make a bunch of soup so you don't have to make food or go to the grocery store or do all the things that we're not supposed to do. This will be anti-social soup. Really quick recipe, real easy. It's something that I picked up from a friend. Her name is Tofueled on the Instagram if you want to check her stuff out. She's got a lot of cool vegan stuff. Anyways, let's get started. Some of the things that you will need will be cauliflower, mushrooms, broccoli, celery, an onion, and the special ingredients that I use anyways is better than bouillon. You can use basically any kind of bouillon you want, but this is really, really good. You can use uh, vegetable broth or make your own broth, whatever. It's just the soup, the base of the soup. So whatever you want to use. This recipe is widely versatile. You can use basically anything you want. I also have some 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. I, I know you can't get that in Canada, uh, but my American friends go to Trader Joe's, get some of this. It's amazing for everything. And also some Mushroom Company uh, Unami Seasoning Blend. This is good. I like mushrooms. If you don't, skip it. But this thing's full of mushrooms. You can use anything you want for vegetables. And then I use ramen rice noodles. Let's do it. Now I'm only making enough for myself for a couple of days. So I'm starting off with five cups of water. And for every cup of water, I need one teaspoon of better than bouillon. Rinse your veggies and slice them up into bite-sized pieces. Once all your vegetables are cut into little pieces, just add them to the boiling water and give them a nice little stir. Turn down the heat and let simmer for 25 minutes. So now that 25 minutes has passed, we can add in our rice ramen or whatever kind of ramen you want. These ones I got from Costco before it turned into crazy town doomsday shopping. And uh, they're really good. There's only two ingredients in this thing. Organic brown rice flour and organic millet, whatever that is. Plop it in there. Let that cook for three minutes. Then we'll break it up and stir it all together and we'll have soup. Well, it looks like we're ready to go here. Like I said, this is super easy and uh, it's tasty as heck. And you can put anything you want in here. Zucchini, uh, bok choy, Literally anything, there's no rules. I'm just showing you what I like to make when I'm feeling like soup, or if you're feeling like you might be getting sick and you need a brothy type of soup, this is a good one. Look at that, pretty good. It's a little too hot to test, but I live dangerously. Uh, I'm scared. Mmm, I'm telling you that better than bouillon is the best thing ever. So good. Yummy. You can add a little bit of salt in there if you want. I don't love salt, but do what you gotta do. Stay safe, wash your hands, eat at home. I don't know what else to tell you. Let's not get sick and die from coronavirus. How about that? All right, that's it. I'm gonna go eat soup and watch Netflix because I'm social distancing. Peace out.